Hi dear students, welcome back to our channel Anvine Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important problem for 4 marks and that should be asked in the public examinations. That is nothing but it is based on the lens maker formula and in the chapter of refraction of light at curved surface. Dear students, in our channel all the chapters should be like a playlist that's why you have to follow our channel and subscribe our channel without late i am going to the topic the topic is here look here children the question will be like this find the refractive index find the refractive index of the glass which is a symmetrical convergent lens symmetrical convergent lens if it is focal length is equals to the radius of curvature of its surface if its focal length is equals to radius of curvature of its surface. So what he was giving clue focal length is equals to radius of curvature. Here that is the problem children. See once again find the refractive index of the glass which is a symmetrical convergent lens if it is if its focal length is equals to the radius of curvature of its surface. So children before going to do this one you have to know about the for a convex lens which is positive which refractive surface is positive and which refractive surface is negative we have to know so children this is the biconvex lens here was given convergent lens convergent is nothing but biconvex lens so children here we have to draw the diagram should be like this clear so this is the first refracted surface this is the first refracted surface and this is the second refracted surface so we have to construct the circle should be like this clear now this point is center of the first circle and that should be here it is r1 and this is the center of the second circle that should be having some radius of curvature is r2 clear so now R1 and R2 we are identified. If the light is coming like this, this is the incident light ray path. Clear? Now, this is the incident light ray path. Here, R1 is in the direction of S, yes, in the direction of incident light, incident light. And R2 is opposite to the incident light, opposite to the incident light. Very simple. This is the direction of incident light and we are taking R2 in this direction and we are taking R1 in this direction. That's why for a convergent lens, for a convex lens, we have to remember always R1 is positive and R2 is negative according to the sign convention. According to the sign convention, so R1 is positive and R2 is negative children you have to remember and now coming to the topic children what it is he was given some problem we have to find out the what you have to find the refractive index we have to find out children so now here what he was given if its focal length is equal to the radius of curvature of its surface so he was simply saying that R1 is equal to R2 is equal to F so that is the given that given that r1 is equal to r2 is equal to f r1 is equal to r2 is equal to f because here if its focal length is equal to radius of curvature of its surface that's why here focal length and radi both are equal so now we can go for as lens maker formula according to the lens maker formula what you are right? 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So, this is the formula we are going to use. And children, what you have to find? We have to find out the refractive index. Refractive index. N value we have to find out. So, that's why here, simply, now we have to substitute all the values here. 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 into what is given r1 is positive and that should be equals to nothing but here f so 1 by f r1 is equals to f and r2 is also f that's why here minus of 
again what you write 1 by this is minus f why because r2 is negative therefore r2 is equals to minus f so then what you get 1 by f is equals to m minus 1 into 1 by f plus 1 by f that implies what you get children here 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 into 1 plus 1 2 2 by f 2 by f clear children here f f cancel then what you get n minus 1 into 2 if it is being decided 1 by 2 is equals to n minus 1 clear so then 1 by 2 means what 0 0.5 and n minus 1 is 0 0.5 then obviously what it is n is equals to 1 plus 0 0.5 that implies n is equals to 1.5 n is equals to 1.5 very simple children very simple what he was given only one condition r1 is positive r2 is negative we know that and what he was given r1 is equals to f and r2 also f that's why simply we are taking lens breaker formula 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 now we have to substitute that r1 is nothing but f and r2 is minus f we substituted then what you get on 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 into 1 by f minus of minus plus 1 by f plus 1 by f so here what you get simply here 1 by 1 by f plus 1 by f means what 2 by f that's why here 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 into 2 by f f f cancel then what you get 1 by 2 is equals to n minus 1 1 by 2 means what 0 0.5 0 0.5 is equals to n minus 1 we are bringing 1 to this side what you get n is equals to 1 plus 0 0.5 n is equals to 1.5 so therefore what is the value of refractive index children that is what 1.5 according to this problem ok now children if you can understand on this one like share comment the video and subscribe my channel to get all the notifications okay thank you